This time next week, America's trick-or-treaters will be midway through their appointed rounds. Now, as far as the kids' calendars go, Halloween is one of the big days. Carter Evans introduces a man who thinks this big day deserves a big pumpkin. Amid these giant vines lies a hidden treasure. A lot of my neighbors don't even know I grow. John Hockley doesn't just grow pumpkins, he babies them, covering them in blankets to protect their delicate skin from the sun. Oh my gosh, this is like a freak of nature. This pumpkin freak show, he says, began on a whim. This is your front yard here? Yeah. Was it always a pumpkin patch? It was a pitching green when I first started it. It was beautifully manicured. Hockley says he became fascinated by other farmers and their gargantuan gourds. This is out of the world record from Switzerland. So this has world record genetics in it. Breeding and cross-pollinating paid off. Last year, Hockley sent a North American record, a 2,058 pound monster. It sounds almost like an addiction. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Once again, he set out to create the largest pumpkin on the planet. How fast do these pumpkins grow? Well, I, mine were up to like 40 pounds a day, but... 40 pounds a day? His pride and joy reached nearly a ton, blew a hole, and was disqualified. Pumpkin depression. The, oh, my God. The highs and lows of pumpkin growing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even come in my patch for a week. And then I realized, well, you know what? I got these other pumpkins. One of those other pumpkins finished seventh at a way off this month. And he's already plotting to plant new seeds that will become next year's giants. Sometimes I shake my head and roll my eyes. <laughs> Patty Hockley says, record or no record. I definitely have approached him with the thought of taking a year off and maybe growing every other year and working on projects at home. It's cool in a way, but on the other hand, it's like, yeah, it is a pumpkin. Remember that, John, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> this one could be surprising. And at the very least, it can make a lot of pies. Carter Evans, CBS News, Napa, California.